Hello, my name is John Walsh with the Logic Group. In this video, I'm going to show how to, to uh, configure and calibrate the Jumbo Trace digitizer so that it's ready to digitize. I start the Jumbo Trace software, then I hit, click the button that says Jumbo Configuration and Calibration, and then I tell it how my boards are set up. I've got two boards that are turned sideways so that the long ones are together. That's number two. I click number two here on the side, and then I clicked Next. Um, I have two digitizing tablets. They're 44 by 60. They're rotated sideways. I've got two in my X direction, none in my Y direction. I'm then going to click Test Ports, and then I click Test Open Ports, and the software tells me what ports that it has found. Here it found port 4, port 5, port 6, and port 7. Um, if it found no available ports, that means that the USB to serial driver is not installed correctly. You need to unplug that USB cable, install that, that, that driver, and then install the insert the USB cable again. Um, I'm now going to test my boards. I come in here and click Test XY. It tells me digitize the point on any of the tablet. I'm going to digitize the point, the tablet on the left first. Um, to digitize a point, I either push the side button or push down with the tip on the pen, either one. Also, there's batteries in the pen. I need to activate the battery. So get in the habit of pushing the tip of the pen when it's off the board to activate the batteries. So I come in here and I digitize a point in the middle or anywhere on the board on the left. And it gives me the XY coordinate and tells me that that is on COM port number four. So I know it's on four. Come in and digitize a, a, a tablet on the right. Digitize that point. Tells me that's on port number five. So I've got the port numbers and I know that we're, we're communicating with the tablets. Go ahead and close this little screen. I then click the next button. It'll tell me tablet one, it's rotated right. Make sure that the port number is correct, port number four. I'm gonna go ahead and click test tablet. Come in here, it says digitize the point on the tablet. I digitize the point again on the board on the left. And I got an X and a Y coordinate, that's good. I click next tablet at the bottom. Tablet two, the port number's number five, that's correct. I click test tablet, digitize the point on tablet two, digitize a point, and I got a point there, so that is working. I now need to calibrate the board so that the software knows exactly how they're two oriented to each other. Um, I put the calibration sheet in the middle of the board. I come in here and click calibrate, the top button there, and it will tell me, it shows me how that calibration sheet should be on the boards. And then it's telling me to digitize point one on the tablets. That's the upper left hand point of that calibration sheet. And I want to do this as accurately as possible. So I've got that little bullseye. I'm going to take the pin or the cursor and digitize right smack in the middle of that bullseye. And I got a point, and then it'll tell me what that point was. It'll tell me to digitize the second point. It's the lower left hand point. Again, as accurate as I can, digitize right in the middle of that bullseye. Got the second point, it tells me now to digitize the third point, that's the lower right hand point. Go in there and digitize that point, and then it will tell me to digitize the upper right hand point. Got that point, and then it tells me that everything was correct and it's all ready to go. Now I only have to do this one, um, I'm going to click OK and then I click Save Configuration. Now it's saved in the computer. I only have to do that again if something changes. So as long as I don't move the boards or anything, I don't have to calibrate again. If I, if I do move the boards or if I'm having troubles, I can, I can do the calibration again. But next time I use it, I just start the software, start digitizing. I don't have to, have to calibrate. Okay, let's test it, make sure it's working correctly. I'm going to click the digitize button. It'll show me the jumble with the two boards on there. I'm going to do tracing, which means freehand drawing. I'm going to click the start button and then I'm going to do some points on the boards at the bottom. So I'm going to go across here, click there, click there, click up there. So I'm going around the bottom and I can see it's following along. I'm going to walk around to the other side of the boards and digitize across the top. I got to walk around here. Got a big box in the way. So I'm going to digitize a point at the top three points on that board. I'll do two points on this board. So I'm going all the way around. And then when I'm all done, I come in here, see it followed all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And then it's going to tell me, do I want to connect this first point to the last point I do? I click yes. 
and I've got my first pattern just testing the boards. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to click the button that says create file and then I'm going to call this call this the test and then it's going to save it as a DXF file and then I click save and it is saved to my first example. Now if I'm digitizing a pattern that can only fit on one board we're going to use the logic trace button in, uh, software as, instead of the jumbo software so we need to, to configure that program so I come in here and I start the logic trace software um, I'm in Windows 10 I need to start the uh, logic trace software so what I'm doing here if, if I digitize a pattern that fits on one board I use the logic trace software if I have a pattern that fits on two boards I go to the jumbo software but I need to configure the logic trace software so that it's set up to, uh, to digitize so I come in here to logic trace I click digitize new at the top menu I click setup and then I click tablet setup and I need to make sure that it's set for CalComp drawing board 23 here at the top and then my size 44 by 60 then I have to set the COM port to what the COM port I'm going to do all of this on my digitizer on the left so I, before that was on COM port 4 so I need to tell it that it's on COM port 4 then I need to click install and then over here in the further information on the right it needs to say default and then I can click test XY and I come in here and digitize a point to the middle of the tablet on the left and uh, it gave me an XY let's go ahead and close that let's go ahead and test this I'm going to click digitize I'm going to do tracing again um, and then I'm going to do four points on the uh, on the other board just to make sure that that's working and I come in and um, it's working just fine I go ahead and click done connect to the first the last point say yes and uh, I've got my drawing so we are all set up logic trace is working jumbo trace is working I can go in digitizing in my next video I'm going to do uh, two examples showing you how to digitize um, uh, so we'll see you in a bit bye